What are warp drives? What does NASA have to say about traveling millions of light years? Can warp drives be useful for finding alien life in other galaxies? How does this interstellar technology work? Today, we are going to elaborate all these questions without wasting any time. Let's get straight into it. In the previous video about tachyon particles, I have explained to you how people are misunderstood about what Einstein said about traveling faster than light. If you did not watch this video yet, watch that video by clicking the card above. After returning from that video, you will clearly understand everything that I am going to say about warp drives without being confused. Warp drives, a technology that has been a stock of interest for NASA scientists in recent years. These are the technology which comes to use when we think of reaching other galaxies and do interstellar travel faster than light. Without even breaking the laws of relativity, which basically says that nothing can travel faster than light. The concept of warp drives was given by John Wood Campbell Jr. in 1931. If you would have to describe a warp drive in simpler words, you can say that warp drives are special spacecrafts designed to stretch and shrink spacetime so that without traveling itself, it can travel millions of light years by the help of the stretched spacetime. Let me explain warp drives with more information. Let's take an example. You are in a car which is in no motion. You have no fuel and you want to cover a distance of 200 km through that car. Now suppose you use some technology like the warp drive technology which basically expands the way behind you at the speed of light and shrinks the road ahead of you at the speed of light. You can definitely say that I have traveled 200 kilometers without even moving a single meter just by stretching the space-time itself, in this case the road. Not just 200 kilometers, think of light years. As we know, one light year is equal to 9.46 multiplied by 10 to the power 15 meters or 9.5 trillion kilometers. That much of a distance can be easy to cover with the warp drive technology. A question rises here. As we all know that as you reach closer and closer to the speed of light, time becomes slower and slower for you. So, by using warp drives, is there a risk of time dilation? And I say risk because for the person traveling inside the warp drive, it may affect his personal life because when he will return to earth, his family could be dead a long time ago. Or if he reaches a planet for detecting signs of life, he may reach there when there is no life started or at that time when all the species of that planet become extinct, all because of time dilation. A point to be noted is that warp drives do not travel faster than light. And I repeat, warp drives do not travel faster than light. Warp drives uses displacement as a factor and not the speed. We have only shrinked and stretched the space-time to get to the destination which is trillions of kilometers away. Now, let's talk about the possibilities of warp drive being successfully created. Here comes the NASA. NASA 
has shown a great interest in warp drives as i told you at the beginning of this video let's see what nasa have to say about the warp drive technology if we look about nasa's perception about breaking the barrier of light speed or about warp drive technology nasa stated the bulk of scientific knowledge concludes that it's impossible especially when considering einstein's theory of relativity there are certainly some credible concepts in scientific literature however it's too soon to know if they are viable they also spoke about warp drives there are many absurd theories that have become reality over the years of scientific research but for the near future warp drives remains a dream so we can see that nasa stated that for the present time breaking the speed of light through any instrument such as warp drive looks impossible for now they also indicated that they believe in faster than light travel theory but they are not capable of finding any success in it however nasa is working hard to make such things a reality but even they laid their hands when asked about possibility of successfully creating a warp drive nasa believes that warp drives can be a reality if not today then maybe in the future connecting theory of relativity with warp drives is quite logical theory of relativity says that bending space time is possible so if we bend space time from behind as well as from the forward it will let us create a warp field now what is a warp field it is basically the area in which a warp spacecraft would travel upon also by bending space time wormholes can be artificially made i will explain wormholes soon enough in the future videos anyways for bending space time we need an enormous amount of energy and enormous amount of mass too we need a minimum of mass equivalent to jupiter's mass now let's talk about some more problems about warp drive travel even if we successfully build a warp drive we could not contact ones whom we left on earth why because bending space time would create a dimensional paradox in simpler words it would cause network failure now why would it create a dimensional paradox simply because it is under the warp field and most importantly it is under a warp bubble what's a warp bubble it is simply a bubble layer around the warp drive to protect the warp drive from space objects okay guys so i would like to tell you that we have crossed 100 subscribers in a few days and it is an awesome experience of unity we have two more videos on our channel check them out thank you for watching this video if you like this video be sure to subscribe and like this video as well peace out